The problem is, no one's going to stop it. So that voice you hear is, uh, anyway. Hi, it's Colin Sandy from Sandy Audiovisual. And uh, I believe it was on uh, Streaming Guys, that Australian gentleman who sells A10 stuff down under, who does wonderful videos on this. Someone had asked in the comments about whether they had this particular configuration, as you see. I'm in my basement. We're here in the northeast United States, and we're expecting a huge snowstorm starting tonight. So I've brought a whole bunch of gear here because we're going to kind of have an R&D fest over as we get snowed in. Hopefully. Um, well, not hopefully. Actually, we're actually fully self-sustained here. So even if the grid goes out, we can still make some videos. Um, we're fiber-fed. So, you know, as long as, you know, Verizon is still sending out a signal and I'm still getting fiber, um, we're going to still be making videos. So, anyways, to answer the question real quick, here we have the A10 Television Studio HD and the uh, web presenter with the Terranex Mini Smart Panel on it. And the question was, has anyone combined the two and how do you combine them using a single workflow as one device? Well, very, very simple. Uh, I have it here in the Terranex Mini rack shelf, which is the, um, you know, three unit uh 19 inch standard rack shelf here i already did a small or a really quick video on it but let's take a look at the back so on the right here we have the web presenter on the left we have the atem uh if you look let's see if i could get a decent shot here if you look right here we have an aux out multi-view and a program these are the three we're going to concentrate on right here all right so program out will give you of course your main program your aux it'll give you an auxiliary output and you don't really want to use your multi-view unless of course you're doing a demonstration and you want to show all of your sources so um school of thought here uh depending on what type of programming you're doing if you just want to show your main program out your main mix you attach your program out from your ATEM over here to your SDI in, which is right here by the power connector. I'm trying to get a shot so you can see the actual labeling. There we go, and focus to the SDI in here. So again, program out to SDI in. Also, if you want some flexibility though, um, and you want to show a different thing on the web than what you're recording or you're showing in-house, you could use the auxiliary out connector and take the aux out to the SDI in, right? And that's the, the simple setup to combine your um, switching unit and your web presenter unit. Of course, then you use your USB to your computer and you'd have a nice switched feed with all your fancy DVEs and overlays and lower thirds and all that stuff to your um, web software, whether it be um, OBS or um, uh, well, Wirecast, I think, is compatible with this now. It wasn't at first. Or uh, more traditional things like WebEx or GoToMeeting or what have you, right? So again, very simply, your SDI program out, connect that to your SDI program in, and away you go. Of course, you could also, um, if you're doing a presentation type thing and you wanted to use your HDMI in, note that there is no HDMI program out, only a multi-view out. So if you're thinking of using the SDI in for something else and you wanted to use the uh, HDMI in and switch to it, you could either use one of the mini converters to do so and come out of one of the BNCs here an SDI, or if you're doing a presentation about the ATEM itself, of course, you could use the multi-view on HDMI. Anyways, just a quick answer to the question that was posted about using these things in tandem. Again, this is Colin at Sandy Audiovisual. Uh, take care.